Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for July 23rd through the 29th. I am using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle by Veronica Mosley today. This is a beautiful deck. Um, very, very beautiful artwork in this deck. And our giveaway for the week is this Obsidian Crystal, which is in its natural form. It hasn't been treated, it hasn't been altered, so the energy is more potent that way. And this is really great for grounding. This is really great for shielding from negative energy, clearing negative energy in your environment, protecting. So if you're interested in this beauty here, make sure you go to Amethyst Angelite, Facebook and or Instagram. And like, comment, or share the entry post there, which I'll be posting Monday afternoon on Amethyst Angelite. And there's also going to be a free card each day on there. There's a pick a card each day. So there's some fun things there to follow there as well. All right, Capricorn, we have a full moon coming up on Friday, so easy on yourselves there. Some of us are definitely uh, uh, energy sensitive or moon energy sensitive. So be on the lookout for that as Friday approaches. I'm asking for a card for Monday, Tuesday for Capricorn. And there you are, my friends. I'm asking for a card for Wednesday, Thursday for Capricorn. All right, your cards seem to be popping right on up this time. So whatever's happening, this energy uh, and uh, uh, things might be moving a little faster this week for you guys. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, there we go. I'm sorry, I'm being very particular here about how I have these... <laughs> How I have these lined up for you. And then a love card, which I'm going to be pulling from the same exact deck. I'm just asking what spirit and the guides and angels want Capricorn to know about love this week. What's going on in love for a lot of our Capricorns this week. Um, and we'll turn that over in just a second. Again, guys, this is a general reading. It may apply for you. It may not. Uh, make sure that you check out your cross signs, your uh, you know moon sign, or rising sign, all that good stuff. Some weeks that may resonate more. Or check out the Choose Your Own Deck readings that will be up as well. So here's your Monday, Tuesday. You have trust. Okay. Now, the deer can be a symbol for many different things. Uh, and we have a lot of symbolism happening in this card. But one of the things that this could be a symbolism of, this animal here, is fear. And then we have this um, person here with the butterfly wings, which is a symbol of transformation. Okay. So, um, and there's kind of like some wooded area here, and it could be going off into like a denser area. So, last week you guys had this whole thing about being reborn and transformation. And I think a lot of you are feeling that energy within yourselves. But then coming into this week here, it might be getting a little bit real for some of you. Like you might start realizing the changes that are happening, or, or, or people or things that you're letting go of or big opportunities that are making their way towards you, it may become a little frightening. As you're coming into this transformation and going into this unfamiliar territory, there may be some fear. But you are being called and asked to trust. You are being called and asked to trust. You are being called and asked to trust. They're having me set three times. Um, and basically, I think that for a lot of you, there is some financial uh, freedom that's going to be coming in and anytime financial freedom is coming in really what that means is an increase in your cash flow or an increase in your income oh, wow <laughs> and uh wow we have like a convoy of fire trucks that are going past um anyone who has watched my readings or, or knows one of my rules is any outdoor interference or anything that comes into the reading space while you're giving the reading is a part of the message so to me fire trucks is rescue rescue is on the way or you're protected or you're safe um and i was just saying some of you are going to have this con um convoy this cash flow or in, in inflow coming in right so some of you are being rescued from maybe some stress that you were having but then it could be very scary as you're moving forward it could be this fear of Man, am I only getting lucky now? Wow, another fire truck. There's your confirmation. Am I only getting lucky now? Like, can I trust that this is going to stay? This is basically saying, like, look, you have your wings. 
So even if like rough times come, you're going to be able to flutter or fly away. Trust that you're okay. Trust that you're, you know, coming out of the woods and that things are going to be getting better for you. All right. So midweek for Capricorn, this is going to be our Wednesday, Thursday. You have intuition. All right. So now Capricorn, I was mentioning that there's a full moon coming up on Friday. So for a lot of you, what's going to end up happening is your intuition is peaking. Um, for some of you, you may already have been working on this for some time. Um, but what the good thing is here is because we have this card here and this card here in this order, it makes me feel like a lot of you are going to be very successful in coming out of the fear and being able to trust and beginning to listen to what your gut is telling you as you're looking for guidance and moving past um, the terrain ahead of you and the decisions that you're making ahead of you. For a lot of you, for whatever reason, intuitively, I feel that a lot of you are getting a new guide in the middle of the week, a new spirit guide. And, you know, depending on where you are in your abilities, you know, you might not be able to detect this spirit guide right away um, or even to communicate or to understand why it's there. But to me, it feels like a positive shift. I think that a lot of you with the success that's coming in are going to do very important things for helping other people and for bringing about a shift in energy in the people around you, maybe for some of you even within your industry, whatever your career is, whatever your industry of work is, um, and also in improving your interpersonal relationships, your relationships uh, with your loved ones and with, you know, even love partners. So someone is coming in to bring new guidance for you guys because I feel like whatever's happening in the beginning of the week, uh, whether you've already been handed a new job or a promotion or a move, or you begin feeling in your gut that it's on its way, this guide is coming in to help you through this new territory. All right, so end of the week for Capricorn for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We have beauty. And I just, ugh, I love this card. So beauty coming in in the weekend, right? Um, we talked about the full moon happening on Friday. So I think for a lot of you, this is going to be good news. Because the last few full moons we had have been pretty intense for a lot of us. Especially the one that we had in Cancer where we were all kind of getting really emotional and going over our childhood and families and all that stuff. Whatever's happening in, in this full moon coming in, even for those of you who might be going into that darker realm or darker part of you, you're emerging with this beauty, you're transforming it. So there's going to be a, 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 a shift um, within yourself and there's going to be this increase in creativity for some of you for those of you who are more um, creative or expressive or even if you're not creative you might begin feeling creative you may um, do something very expressive over the weekend uh, for some of you this could be journaling for some of you this could be uh, painting for some of you this could be uh, getting lost in music or getting lost in art but it's to me for whatever reason this card to me depicts a certain aspect of falling in love with yourself Falling in love with the beauty in the world around you, seeing the beauty in others, seeing the beauty in yourself, and falling in love with yourself and being very expressive of that. So you're planting um, these seeds around you to call in more beauty and abundance into your life, and you're becoming a source of beauty for the people around you. You're becoming this bright light. And now we're going to look into love for Capricorn and we have freedom, all right? So for some of you, this is going to be leaving a toxic relationship. For some of you, this is going to be, uh, you know, those of you who maybe have been single for a while or newly single even, maybe beginning to feel a certain joy in that singleness and feeling like, man, you know what? There's a few things I still want to do or I want to discover. And this isn't in terms of sexual conquest. It isn't like, Oh, maybe for some of you it is, and that's fine. Uh, but it's not necessarily like, oh, I'm single, I'm going to go out and I'm going to party and I'm going to hook up with all these different people. It's not necessarily that. It feels to me more so in terms of like uh, places you want to go, th uh, enjoying your free time. A lot of you are falling in love with yourselves. 
this weekend. So it could just be enjoying yourself and, and enjoying having that quiet time in your little world uninterrupted. Um, for some of you, this is going to be about feeling more free in how you're expressing yourself. Like you're, you're, you're shaking off any past limitations and any past self-judgments when you would tell yourself, well, I'm not ready for a relationship or I'm not going to have um, a permanent relationship or I'm not going to meet the one until I look a certain way or until I have a X amount of dollars in my bank account or I have this level of my career. All that stuff's coming off you this week. It's gone. And you're just kind of free. You're free of those um, self-limiting beliefs and ideas. There's the smoke coming in as confirmation. Um, you're, you're, you're free of like that cage that you had put yourself in. And you're realizing how wonderful you are. And you're opening up energy to like this uh, big love or like, you know, the 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 kind of love that may be in your heart you've been wishing for and as i'm talking i'm seeing a really big snake with like its mouth open really wide um they're showing me like this big snake uh snakes in in my um readings and also when snakes come in when i do energy work it, it's healing it, it's a it's a it's a spirit of healing so there's a really beautiful healing that's coming in for you guys this week that's freeing you from a lot of old pain, a lot of old suffering, like, you know, hating yourself. I feel that this is the week when a lot of you are going to feel like, man, like, that's behind me. That's really behind me. I'm seeing the smoke coming up over the card again. Um, that's behind me, and I'm free of that, and I'm seeing the beauty in me, and I'm seeing the beauty in the world around me. And there's no reason why I can't have, you know, the, the things that my heart desires and the things that, you know, every person deserves. So that's very exciting, guys. Again, um, this might not resonate with all of you. So make sure that you check out your your rising sign, your, um, you know, your, 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 your um, moon sign, all that good stuff. Some weeks those are going to resonate more and make sure that you check out the choose your own deck reading because there's going to be three decks and then you pick the deck that your energy is kind of feeling pulled towards and the idea there is you get a more specific reading for whatever is going on with you right now. And then of course guys private readings are available. I have private readings starting as low as $5. Um, I will work with you. I'm happy to do a sliding scale. It's more important to me that you get the help that you need um you know it, it, it's not necessarily about just kind of you know the income here so uh, if you're feeling guided to reach out please feel free to do so know that i'm happy to work with you and be sure to follow amethyst angelite facebook and instagram for your free card each day and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel guys there's a lot more videos coming not just reading videos, other videos too. Uh, we're doing a full moon release on video, uh, which we may be doing on YouTube or on Facebook. I'm not sure. But if you subscribe, you'll get a notice when that's up as well. And I hope that you can join us for the live full moon release on Friday. We're going to be doing a little kind of ceremony and helping to let go of blocks and all that good stuff. My, my partner and I. Uh, so my, not my, not my romantic partner. I just want to clear. This is more, uh, somebody I work with, a colleague of mine, um, on a radio show that, that I do. So it's not like a partner in that way, but I hope that you guys can tune in, um, and do subscribe to the channel and, uh, feel free to reach out guys. I'm so excited to be doing this and I'm happy that I'm connecting with those of you who have been reaching out. So, uh, you know, take care of yourselves till next week.